come to sit in a cross-legged seat. Using either a folded blanket, cushion, or block, sit so that your hips may be higher than your knees. Cross your legs either at the shins or ankles, and press your hands against your knees. Draw the elbows in and down to lift the chest. Notice how this draws the heads of the shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale into the upper chest. Inhale more this time into the side ribs. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale upper chest. Inhale side ribs. Exhale. If your eyes aren't already closed, allow your eyes to close softly. Inhale into the upper chest and side ribs. Create a whispering sound in your throat as you exhale. Inhale, creating that same whispering sound in the throat. And exhale. Continue to use this audible breath throughout your practice today. Inhale, lift the arms, palms up to shoulder height. Reach through the ring fingers. Inhale up into the chest and lean your weight back into your sit bones. And exhale all the breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up as high as they'll rise without turning the palms in. Keeping the heads of the shoulders moving down away from the ears. Exhale, lower the arms halfway down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, lower the arms all the way down. Remove your block or blanket and come to hands and knees. See that your hands are under your shoulders or a small distance in front and that your knees are under your hips or a small distance behind. Begin by just exploring your range of motions, circling your hips clockwise and circling them counterclockwise. Inhale as your hips move forward and away from the heels. And exhale as your hips move back towards the heels. Notice any sensations in the body. Be especially mindful of any differences on either side of your waist, your back, your inner and outer hips, and your shoulders. Extend a wave of movement through your torso bringing the stretch into the sides of the waist, the upper back, and the neck, always coming to a flat back when the shoulders come over the wrists. Listening to the sensations in your body begin to alter your movements in whatever expression feels most satisfying to you. Taking half circles with the hips, maybe gliding forward and extending the tops of the legs and maybe just confining the movement to an area that feels tight or underserved. And flow effortlessly through each movement, connecting movement to breath. Inhale forward, making any necessary adjustments so that the shoulders are over the wrists, the hips over the knees, and the feet are pointing straight back. Inhale, reach up through the right fingertips. Exhale, twist, threading the right shoulder under the left. Inhale, press into your left palm to unwind and reach up through the right fingertips. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind and reach up. And exhale, twist. Stay here. Perhaps take the bind by taking the left arm over to your right hip crease. Let the head be heavy and muscles of the neck soft. Allow your head to be fully supported by the floor. Gaze softly at the corner of your left eye. Place the palm down and press into the mat. Unwind and reach up through the right fingertips. Exhale, place the right palm down. Inhale, reach up through the left fingertips. Exhale, twist, threading the left shoulder under the right. 
Inhale, press into your right palm to unwind and reach up through the left fingertips. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind and reach up. Exhale, twist. Stay here. Maybe take the bind by taking the right arm over to your left hip crease. Let the head be heavy and fully supported by the floor. Gaze softly at the corner of your right eye. Place the right palm down and press into the mat. Unwind, reaching up through the right fingertips. Exhale, left palm down. Move your palms forward about a hand's distance in front of you. Inhale, lengthen the side ribs and draw the navel up toward the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows straight back, graze the chest across your mat as you glide down and forward. Inhale, low cobra. You may need to adjust your legs by lengthening the tops of the legs along the floor. Stay here as you press the hips and the tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, peel the chest off the mat. This time, lift the palms away from the floor, fully supporting yourself with your upper back muscles. Exhale, press into your palms to push up to hands and knees. Inhale, long spine reaching the sternum forward and the hips back and keeping the navel drawn up towards the spine. Exhale, lower the chest, grazing the mat. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, press up and back to hands and knees, keeping the elbows in towards the body. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, sit back onto your heels for child's pose. Rest your forehead on the mat. See that your knees are slightly apart so that your belly can soften towards the floor. Breathe into the back ribs, expanding in three dimensions. Crawl your fingertips towards the front of your mat to pull the rib cage away from the hips. Spread the fingertips. Lift your head to check and see that your hands are shoulder distance apart and that your middle fingers are perpendicular to the front of your mat. Rest your forehead back on the mat. Press into the heel of the palm and the base knuckles of all ten fingers. Either feel or imagine the very center of the palms lifting up off the mat. Press down through the palms to draw your sit bones towards your heels. Curl your toes under. Exhale, lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Take a wide down dog, taking the feet slightly wider than hip width distance and palms slightly wider than shoulder distance. Pedal your legs to ease into the posture. Bend both knees and come high onto the toe mounds to lift the hips up and back. Lengthen the sides of the waist by drawing the navel up towards the spine. Move the shoulder blades up your back towards your hips, drawing the upper arms away from the ears. Let your head be heavy, releasing the neck from the shoulder girdle. Keeping the length through the torso, Exhale, lower the heels and work towards taking the bend out of the knees. If you have tender hamstrings, keep the knees slightly bent. Inhale, lower the knees down and find a long spine. Exhale, child's pose. Sway your hips softly from side to side. On your next exhale, lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Press into the pads of the thumb and index fingers as you rotate the elbow creases up toward the sky. 
Continue to lift the shoulder blades up toward the hips as the hips move up and back. Take your left hand to your right ankle or calf. Bend your left knee slightly as you twist to the right, softly gazing at the sky. Inhale back to center. Exhale, use your right hand to hold on to your left ankle or calf. Bend the right knee slightly and twist to the left. Inhale, center. Scoop the lower belly in and firm the quadriceps to bring your weight back and out of the arms. If possible, lift your toes away from the floor, drawing your weight back towards your heels. Exhale, walk your feet between your hands, keeping the knees soft. Hold on to opposite elbows and ragdoll from side to side, stretching the back of the body. Direct your breath towards your hamstrings, calves, and back. Release your elbows. Inhale up halfway to a flat back, placing your fingertips either at the thighs, the shins, or the floor, depending on the flexibility of the hamstrings. Stay here as you exhale, bringing your weight towards your toe mounds and out of your heels. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms come around and up, leading with the ring fingers. Exhale, palms to heart center. Sit back into child's pose, bringing your hips down towards your heels and separating the knees slightly. Drape your torso over your thighs and crawl your fingertips towards the front of the mat and forehead rest on the floor. Soften the muscles around the neck and shoulders. Firm the triceps and lengthen through the side ribs. Inhale, look forward and crawl your fingertips towards the front of the room, walking yourself forward and pressing your chest towards the floor. Let your chin rest on the floor. See that your hips are above your knees. Draw the navel in, focusing here on bringing the sternum towards the floor, arching the upper back. Walk your hands back, exhale, sit your hips onto your heels in child's pose. Inhale, come up high on the fingertips and walk yourself forward, bringing the hips over the knees and the chest towards the floor. Let your chin rest on the floor. Exhale, crawl your hands back and press your hips down onto your heels. Inhale, crawl yourself forward, placing the chin on the floor and reaching the chest down, hips above the knees. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, slide forward into cobra. Exhale onto your belly. See that your palms are by your low ribs. Press the pelvis against the floor. Inhale, peel your chest off the mat. Stay here as you exhale and lift your palms off the floor using your upper back strength to keep yourself lifted. Exhale, lower down onto the floor. Come up onto your forearms, lift the chest in Sphinx pose. Press the top of all 10 toes against the floor as you press the pubic bone against the floor. Turn your right arm so that the forearm is parallel to the front of your mat. Bend your left knee and take hold of your left foot. Press the elbow back in line with the shoulder and press the foot down towards your hip. Stay lifted in the chest, 
shoulders moving down away from the ears. Exhale, lower the foot. Place your left forearm back on the mat. Straighten your right forearm so the fingers point to the front of your mat and turn your left forearm in to be parallel to the front of your mat. Bend your right knee. Take hold of your right foot. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Reach the elbow back as you press your foot down towards your right hip. Inhale here, lifting the chest. Exhale, lower the foot down. Come back to Sphinx Pose. Exhale, lower onto your belly. See that the hands are by the low ribs. Press the palms into the floor. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Stay here as you exhale. Feel the inner thighs rolling in and up towards the sky. Press the sit bones down towards your heels and lift the chest. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through to the right thumb. Inhale, low lunge. Wrap the left hip forward in line with the right. Lift the navel and reach up through the fingertips. Maybe stay here or maybe bend the back knee. Take hold of the foot with your left hand and press the foot forward towards your hip. Exhale, lower the foot back down. Curl the toes under, inhale up to crescent lunge. See that you're high on the toe mounds of the left foot and that the front knee is right over the ankle. Keep the hips squared, wrapping the left hip forward in line with the right. Release the tailbone and lean back. See that your back knee is bent. Exhale the hands to your hips, fingers pointing down. Press the hips forward, keeping them in line with one another. Lift the chest, feel the stretch in the back thigh. Scoop the low belly in Draw the navel in towards the spine. Keep the abdomen engaged as you inhale, reach the arms over and up. Lean back. Exhale, plant the fingertips. Find runner stretch. Reaching the left heel back, reaching the sternum forward. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, step the right foot back in line with the left for plank. Inhale here. Exhale, shift your weight forward, bring the elbows straight back, skimming the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stay here as you exhale, lifting the chest, rotating the inner thighs in and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it through to the left thumb. Inhale, low lunge. Square the hips, release the tailbone and reach up through the fingertips. Stay here or bend your right knee Take your right hand and take hold of your right foot, pressing it down towards your right hip. Keep the chest lifted. Exhale, lower the foot, curl the toes under, inhale to crescent lunge. See that you're high on the toe mounds of the right foot. Bend the right knee and square the hips to the front of the room. 
Exhale, hands to hips, fingers pointing down. Press the hips forward, keeping them squared to the front of your mat. Lift the chest and lean your weight back, feeling the stretch in the back thigh. Scoop the belly in, draw the navel in and up. Use your core to protect your lower back and inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, find runner stretch. Reach the back heel back and the sternum forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, shift forward, bring the elbows back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come up high on the toe mounds, bend the knees, look forward. On the bottom of your next exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up, finding a long spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, diving up with a long spine. Exhale, palms to heart center. Take the arms down by your sides, find mountain pose. Lift your toes and spread the soles of your feet. Gently place your toes back down. Lift the kneecaps. Open the arms from the shoulders, palms facing forward. Open your right palm to face the sky. Bend your right knee and take hold of your right foot. Inhale, reach your left arm out and up, drawing the arm alongside the ear. Press the foot against your right hand. Lengthen the front of the thigh, reaching the knee straight down. Exhale, pivot forward, folding at the hip crease of your left thigh. Reach the knee back and up. Press the foot against the palm and draw your right shoulder down in line with your left shoulder. Open the chest and reach the sternum forward. Inhale, back to vertical. Exhale, back to mountain pose. Open the left palm to face the sky. Bend your left knee, take hold of your left foot. Inhale, sweep your right arm out and up, drawing it alongside your ear. Press your left foot against the palm. Reach the knee down, lengthening through the top of the thigh. Exhale, pivot at the hip crease, reaching your knee back and up, arching through the spine. Continue pressing the foot against your palm. Reach forward through the right fingertips as you reach back and up through your knee. Keep hips level and shoulders level, drawing the left shoulder down in line with the right. Inhale, back to vertical. Exhale to mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway up, finding a long spine. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower all the way onto the floor. Tops of the legs along the floor. Press the hips against the floor. Lengthen the sides of your waist. Crawl your fingertips towards the front of the mat. 
Lengthen more through the side ribs. Press your forehead against the mat. Press your pubic bone down and lift your navel up towards your spine so much so it could lift away from the mat. Firm your quadriceps. Inhale, lift the legs and arms up. Locust pose. Have the palms face each other. Reach forward through the arms, reach back through the legs, point the toes. Exhale, lower. Walk your arms back alongside your body, palms facing down. Roll the heads of the shoulders up towards the ears.